Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Has mentioned uh, great boating weather ahead. That includes the holiday weekend and has mentioned, you know, the air temperature is certainly warming up. But of course, the water takes a lot longer. That is still rather cool. In fact, the last check water temps are in the... Um, the mid 50s hazy sunshine in new bedford no precipitation yet but we do have some showers for early this evening notice the warmer temperatures inland away from any cooling ocean influence barreville 72 12 degrees cooler in jamestown you can see the arrows clearly a sea breeze day today so the south shore southern uh, suburbs are cooler an early evening shower over the approach of a cold front the window is between 6 and 10 o'clock this doesn't mean that it's raining non-stop from 6 to 10 but this is sort of the the, the window of change first in the northern part of the state and then later towards the uh, the south shore with the approach of a cold front a bit cooler but nice on Thursday less smoke and haze in the sky more of a blue sky some of that wildfire smoke is long gone holiday weekend oof it looks really good. We're going to show you that in the seven day forecast. All right, here's the satellite and radar composite, and you can clearly see a line of showers. And this red indicates some downpours. Springfield now approaching Worcester. Here's the northwest corner of the state. And while I do expect the line to weaken a little bit, uh, the best chance for getting some heavier downpours briefly, briefly would be north and west of Providence. This is a long a cold front. So the cold front sweeps through this evening and offshore and behind it slightly cooler air. So when we take this into the future, uh, seven o'clock and beyond the showers and precipitation heading offshore by 11 o'clock in the evening. Here we are tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. back to sunshine cool start, but temperatures respond to uh, the mid and upper 60s. It'll be a breezy and dry day. Overall, your Thursday looks nice. We're clear Thursday night. Jump ahead to Friday afternoon. Very nice. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures getting close to 70 by Friday afternoon. Friday night looks good. You're heading out. Saturday morning, sunshine even milder. But look at this developing coastal storm on Saturday across the southeast. And normally we'd be quite concerned about a storm of this magnitude and this position on Memorial Day weekend, but it will stay to the south. So Saturday, Sunday, and the holiday Monday. Uh, looks dry. The showers for early this evening. Here we are at 7 o'clock. By 10 o'clock, most of this activity is gone. Skies are clearing out overnight and waking up to uh, partly sunny skies early in the morning, low 50s. During the afternoon, plenty of sunshine, mid to upper 60s in most areas, so a decent day. And then just cool and dry, clear skies for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, hour by hour forecast, 7 a.m. at around 49, jumping to 58 during the afternoon. Notice your precipitation chances zero. It's a dry day. Uh, dry skies, sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Temperature roughly between about 65 and 68. Bay forecast has unlimited visibility on a north breeze at 10 to 15. Small craft advisory through uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Water temp is inching up, but it's still on the cool side in the upper 50s. Seven day forecast temperatures moderate on Friday and Mike look at this weekend Saturday Sunday Memorial Day Monday not just the sunshine but pleasantly warm temperatures too. highs in the mid to upper 70s were pushing 80 by Sunday and Monday so looking good all around. I know people talk about cookouts and getting together but so many Memorial Day observances are taking place and the reason for the holiday. All right. Yep. Thank you Tony. Come